Hey look guys, it's delta 49 here with a tutorial on how to create a cube world server. The first thing you want to do is open up a Windows Explorer window and navigate to your primary disk where cube world is installed. So that would be my C drive here. And if you have a 64-bit operating system, uh, then this is the most likely case, then you want to go to program files uh, x86. And if not, you'll just go into program files wherever the cube world uh, folder is installed to. Uh, so for most people that'll be program files x86 and then you want to find the cube world folder. Now towards the bottom uh, there is a file there's an executable called server and what you want to do is you just want to double click that and run it. As you can see it says starting server, server started, yada yada, waiting for connection um, and that will create a server config file. So you can go ahead and hit Q to and the server here and you want to open up that config file and in here is the seed for the world uh, so if you want to put a different seed in it'll randomly generate one for you and then you can uh, change it or whatever add numbers remove numbers uh, whatever you want to do with the seed uh, you can set the seed if there's a certain seed that you want um, you can set that here and that's really it for this file so then you can close that and then you all, all you need to do is open up the server.exe again and uh, the server is running. So if we go ahead and open cube world here, give it a moment, there we go. Okay, and if you click start game and we're just gonna select a character here um, and then if you go up to the top right uh, the, to multiplayer worlds, you'll see the world uh, that you actually had, like that you created, that it created with the seed. And then also, if you uh, go back and select your character and go to connect to server, uh, then you can co connect to your own server just by typing in localhost like this. It's loading. And once it loads in, you can see that you are on the server. There you go. It's all, all good. And then, of course, you can just go to the options and um, start menu to go back. Now, if you want a friend to be able to join, uh, then what you'll need to do is they'll need to go in here and go to connect to server and type in your IP address. Now, in order for this to work, uh, you'll need to do port forwarding. Now, the port for Keyboard is 12345, and that requires both TCP and UDP port forwarding. Uh, so you're going to have to do both protocols. And I'm not going to be able to show you that in this video because there's just way too many different models of routers and uh, firmware on your router for me to be able to show you a concrete way to do it. But I will leave a link to some helpful guides on port forwarding. Then once uh, you have port forwarded, you will have to, uh, or your friend will have to, I guess, um, type in your IP. And I will leave a link to a website, just basically the if you type in what's my IP in Google, actually it'll give you your IP, but uh, just that'll give you your uh, public IP. And that is it for this tutorial. If you did find this helpful, like and share, be greatly appreciated. I know it's not relatively uh, simple once you know where everything is, uh, but if there is anything else that you have questions on, you can leave those in the comments below. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can follow me there for updates and interesting tidbits on the internet. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so for more gaming tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching and have a good one.